So, as far as making yourself a natural sunblock, you're looking for maybe a good chunk of beeswax. I get mine from it in the apiary, so it's as dirty as you can get. You want the propolis in it, which is the dark stuff at the bottom. So look for dirty, not to filter. About three tablespoons of that. So I've melted it down on low. And then as soon as it's melted, you add your next hard ingredients that are a bit softer. So I've got some mango butter. We've got four tablespoons of mango. And then three tablespoons of aloe. Aloe butter um, it gives a nice cooling agent, so it's really nice if you've got a sunburn. Once those melt, oh, and cocoa butter, which has an FPF of maybe up to 15, 10 to 15. So we'll add two tablespoons of that and one tablespoon of natural shea butter. So from Ghana. Nice and dark. Again, you're looking for dirty. You're looking for rich colors. So with shea butter, it should not be white and waxy, but rather kind of a creamy butter and a little bit off-white and smell nutty. Nutty. All right, nutty sunblock. Here we go. Eco sunblock. Let that all melt down on low. Once it's melted down, then you'll add your titanium dioxide and your zinc oxide, which are Two things that re reduce our Sasha, what do they reduce? The long rays of UVA and UVB. The long rays of UVA and UVB. Thank you. So zinc oxide, one teaspoon, and I'm going to put two teaspoons of titanium dioxide, the mineral base. And then about a third of a cup of fractionated coconut oil. So a light, non-staining oil that's not going to attract too much sunlight. And about the same amount of apricot oil. Another light oil, it's got high vitamin C. We'll also add um, avocado oil, which has an SPF of 8 to 10 or maybe up to 15. And we'll let that all melt down, stir it well, and then we're just going to melt and pour into our deodorant sticks. And that's it, you have your Eco Sunblock. Use it small increments at first, so short terms in the sun, and eventually build up your sunlight to more hours in the hotter times. Enjoy!